to a fresh water reservoir. So you can change, look at you know, a country like uh, New York, I mean America, which has a huge resource of fresh water, is already thinking of a coastal reservoir. So the other people are fluid reservoir revitalization project, Jakarta, Kalpasar project. So Modi is a visionist leader. He has already thought about as a chief minister of Kanada, uh, Gujarat. He has already had done a detailed project on a coastal reservoir in Gulf of Kambat. Sydney and other coastal cities, Australia are thinking, and then New York, as I told you earlier. And let us look at the cost. See, the sea based reservoir or a coastal reservoir cost per kiloliter, that means one meter cube of water in rupees, is something like rupees 2 to 10 at the cost, not per pumping. No, no pumping cost is included here. And cost of construction per billion cubic meter of water storage is something like 2,000 crores. Is going to, it's not very, very expensive today. So when compared to the inland reservoir, look at inland reservoir costs you a water cost. At the only, only advantage inland reservoir is from the inland reservoir you don't need to pump because the downstream you can provide all the water with gravity. Okay. It is also cost you at 30 rupees to 100 rupees. But please remember this is above the sea level. So most of the downstream of the dam you can actually feed without pumping. And which costs you 10,000 crores per billion cubic meter of water. This is the current rates. Okay, Palavaram Dam is the cost of this. I actually estimated this cost from Palavaram construction. Desalination is 50 rupees to 80 rupees, but actually Chennai city desalination plant is almost giving 80 rupees. Actually, they are paying in dollars. That means if dollar rate fluctuates, this also will fluctuate. <laughs> so 8,000 crores is the cost. Water recycling, that is from the effluent treatment plants, okay, rupees 100, that means that is the highest actually. But what are we doing? We are doing uh, all this for many cities and again be, we are living back to the stream. So about 12,000 crores per billion cubic. So from all these, what it shows is a sea based reservoir is going to be the cheapest both from the point of selling water and also from the construction. So I will actually stop actually two more slides only. I have a vision that you know we can have a coastal reservoir this is the uh, Modi ji's project Gulf of Kambat so he would like to put a dam right here and all the rivers which are coming here displaces the salt water which is there in the Gulf of Kambat and a fresh water will be stored there and he has a natural canals we can make and can go along okay contour canals and can irrigate the entire Gulf Gujarat the state so that's the plan actually we, if you have some of you would like to see Kalpasar project if you google it will take you to that site even they have done environmental impact assessment and the detailed project report is complete under the leadership of Modi ji. So if we have such uh, coastal reservoirs 10-15 of them we can actually bring the dream of KL Rao into fructification. KL Rao was our, our water resource minister and engineer turned into a water system in the 60s. Okay. What is his vision? He wanted to connect Ganga to Kaveri. Through our land, I will tell you this is not going to be feasible. Later on, we talked about uh, the contour canals. Okay. And uh, that is also not feasible. So they left it because cost involved is very high and challenge is very high. And the third project is of interlinking of rivers. There also we miserably failed. But what is one satisfying thing is in the interlinear rivers, at least the rivers which are very close by could be linked. For example, Godavari and Krishna was linked. Okay. Similarly, you know, smaller uh, rivers in Rajasthan have been linked. And that is only possible. But you cannot really link Ganga to Kaveri. So, but with this vision of the Sarovar Mala, I call, is a very similar concept of Sagar Mala. You have a small reservoirs connected and from there you can pump interior and fill up all the tanks and other things uh, wherever is possible and these reservoirs are all along like a necklace to the Indian subcontinent. So I call this Sarovar Mala, I have also patented this concept and which is now patented in India for this which is a sort of we can actually put pipelines, two pipelines so that because we can follow the, the mean sea level contours without pumping we can connect these reservoirs. Then automatically the storage also can be reduced. 
We don't need to store too many things if you are able to get all the 24 hours water. So when there is no water in uh, uh, Maharashtra, you know the river, and we can actually see that it can come through this. So there is enough water actually in Ganga. If you see Ganga and Brahmaputra brings dumps large amount of water into the ocean. So that's a very perennial water, and we can also the Krishna, Godavari, you know, and a couple of reservoir rivers can be also used here. So this is one concept is a dream actually. We may not happen today and tomorrow. Maybe hundreds of years we have to work on these kind of projects. Advantage of these coastal reservoirs are no harm to any of the river basins, no alteration to the river course, no disturbance to any forest cover, and no submergence of land, no physical displacement of people and their villages. Impounding of land, what is called as a reservoir triggered seismicity is not there because there is already water standing. There is no question of that. Agriculture activity can be augmented. Coastal erosion can be minimized. Groundwater recharge due to fresh water in estuarine areas will happen automatically. Intrusion of saline water into wells will reduce. Fresh water dredging of sand okay, also becomes now construction material is a very great challenge. So uh, this can also provide sand for construction. So many, many advantages are there. You can actually use a developmental activity, touristic and then alternative transportation routes on these dams, top of the dams. So all these are really a, gives you a great potential as Dr. Pralada was saying a new economy can be grown around these reservoirs. So advantages solar energy can be generated, tidal energy can be generated at these reservoirs, roadways over the sea wall, freshwater fishing, navigation, tourism, real estate opportunities and it can also serve as a deep water fishing harbor. Okay, We can put, it is all, I mean all of this is not theory, it is all done. It is all done in many, many projects which I showed you earlier. Okay. So let us look at the water price. Today we are already paying 60 rupees per kiloliter in Bangalore city from Bangalore Water Supply Sewerage Board. If you buy a tanker, you are paying already more than 150 rupees per tanker per kiloliter. So that means our water costs are very, very high. So I do not think we can keep paying such very high cost. So the, as I told you, the desalination is not really the solution for us because we are paying very very huge cost already and it is not really very environmentally friendly also for us at least 3 kilometer when that waste water goes back none of the marine life will be alive because it is such a it's high concentration of salts so 3-4 kilometers all the marine life will just be vanished so desalination is not the solution for us as uh, even Kushal said, he said, it may not be very tasty also to drink. <laughs> so thank you very much. But I will tell you, countries can live without high tech industries, but they cannot live without water. So it is wise for to invest in water. We need to invest in water. So the concept and the statement is store water and save future. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much, Professor Distinguished Guest. <coughs> it is my great honor I have opportunity to interact with you about Coast Reach work. And I am very happy to see the space technology and the missile technology so diverse. And that is reminds me our our philosopher. Uh, before 20, uh, maybe 30 or 50 years ago, and then all people in this world think about it our world is flat. 
only after your technology, very, very few people can stand out space and look at it. That's not true. And actually, our world is a sphere. Saying today, I'm very happy to congratulate all of you, especially the young people. Now, you are very few people standing out of space and then look at what problem. We say that Earth is the wrong terminology for our Earth, for our, our group. And then the real world should be what group. And then you look at what group and then from the outer space. And then you will see your thinking will be totally different from existing what the planet is thinking. And then I will show you from the experience from Singapore and other places how about the current water plan is thinking and then why they made a mistake and how can be jump above that. All right. <coughs> uh, first of all, I know this word. And then this is Nihono and now and then temple of the modern India in remember last 100 years. But for this 100 years waiting for you. What's your new temple? Every year, every 100 years, we should have our new temples. What is one? <clears throat> and then they say, very clear, they already have the solution. That is done for the last 100 years. So in the last 100 years, what can you see? This is the dance. All over, already have enough temples. No space to have the new temples for you. You have no chances. So now we need to think about uh, how about the, the new temples are waiting for you to build uh, for our future. <coughs> so today I will talk about that. Uh, and uh, also at the beginning I asked you to think about that. Uh, when, where you are grandchildren, your grandchildren's children live and drink. And then probably you will say, oh, I have the damn water. And then my grandchildren's grandchildren will drink the water from the dam. I tell you, no, no way. Later on, I will ask you to challenge me, say, after 20 minutes, you say, you are wrong. And then, please challenge me. <clears throat> and then, I predict most of your grandchildren's grandchildren will drink the water from now course we well. Trust me. Believe me. <clears throat> and then, I talk about Singapore's experience. What kind of experience you can learn from Singapore, China, Korea, and Australia. And we have other places. I don't have the time to share the experience with you. First of all, I would like to ask you, when, where your, ch uh, where you, where your children will live? And then you will say, in the, my mother's hometown, something like that. I say, no. Your grandchildren will live in the coastal city. And then you will have the urbanization develop very fast in the coast area. If you don't believe you, believe, believe me, you look at China's experience. 20, 30 years ago, Shenzhen is a small village. Now how many people? 20 million people. Shenzhen. And then you will have the same experience like this around your coast. So your children will live in some place in the coast. First of all, look, look at this one, Water Stress, this by, published by UN. India here, China here, Australia here, everywhere, water shortage, you can see. And not, not everywhere, and then we say the most important and the water stress area always happened in the coast area. Why? Because urbanization. Now you are going to have the urbanization. And now look at India, you still have the bigger cities in the inner area, but very soon you will have the biggest city like Australia or in the coast. Here the red dots are the mega cities. You can see all near the uh, coast area. <clears throat> so we say mega cities appear in the coast area. You agree? So you are going children when live here, coast area. Now you don't think about where to drink water. <clears throat> So we say coast areas will have the most severe water shortage problem because of shortage. <clears throat> and then you say, you just say your grandchildren will drink the water from the dam, inland dams. I say, no, impossible. Why? Look at the existing dams uniformly distributed around the land, around the land. But how we say urbanization will mega cities will appear in the coast area and then they mismatch the cities. 
And then also, your tan is going to die, you know? Everything has its lifespan, normally for structures, 50 to 100 years only. <clears throat> and then, even your tan, you say, my tan is very, very strong, concrete, very strong, 1,000 years, no problem. Okay, I believe you. But uh, you know, they ha this, you have the hiding crisis, that is sedimentation. Every year, you lose 100% of your capacity. 100 years, still, if your structure is still strong enough, and then you have no water to, you, because you don't have this cap, cap, uh, capacity. And then look at the USA, the leader of the dam, now try to dismantle, remove the dams every year, 800, not the new dams. What a consequence? Consequence of our population increasing, <coughs> and then we need more water, we need more dam, but we need more tempers, and then our tempers construction every year going to die. No more new dams. Then this is uh, every year how many dams we build worldwide. And then now we can see the challenges here. Our population increasing, and everybody should have food, and then we should have agricultural water usage. Everybody should have water for laundering, for cooking, and domestic water increasing. And then industry, everybody should have money, and industry water increasing. And then consequently, we need to have more dance, but our dance number, we don't have new dance. Sorry. Even your time already there, and then capacity is going to decrease and decrease with time. So we say your grandchildren's grandchildren no way to drink the water from the inland dams. I did the calculation, and I assume the water dams lifespan 100 years. And then you can see to this year, all the dams are gone and then dead, 150 years, you can see. So at night time, our population is very high, we have to drink. You have to think about this one for your grandchildren's grandchildren. And then the solution, only you, this group of people, can provide the solution to the world. Cost is one. So we say, <coughs> other people don't uh, agree with us. They try to fight with us, say, this nation is the solution, and then wastewater is the solution and the interbasin or water, uh, uh, interbasin water diversion, and then rainwater and then other, other things. Now I show you the very expensive experiment that did this one, and then how much successful or not. In, you can see this one, successful in Singapore, in other countries or not. Okay, <laughs> before I talk about the other one, I talk about the cost reserve first. And then, what is one? In every textbook of hydrology, you can see this picture. And then we call this one as a water cycle. This is the evaporation from the sea surface, and then this look at the unit, and then so much number, increase and in condensation, rainfall, compass, and then reverse, down, and then back to the ocean. In total, how much? And then Last 100 years, our, we know how to build our temples here. Now you are going to build the temple here. This is, your, this is your challenge. This is your job to do. You try to build the temple here, inside the sea. <coughs> and then, how much water, and this water is enough to quench our thirst or not? This one is huge. How much is this one? 20 times more than our current World water demand. Water is there. <coughs> and then this is a river, this is the sea, this is the continent. And then we say we want to build this dam here. We have two ways to go. First one, the simplest one, and then most, most of you were thinking about it, I will build this way. I call this one as the first generation construction one. It is a construction looks very simple. And then just follow the coast line to enclose the river mouth, and then to have the water body, concave water body, concave water body in the rivers. And then this is the coast of Israel, first generation. <coughs> and then I will also encourage of you, the young people, to think about another one we say second generation. Second generation, that means we have dike here, dike gate here, we have the dike here, and then our storage is here. 
our deck is not short and straight, but very long and curved. And then we have the storage, convex storage in the sea. And then high quality water. I open the gate here. High quality water, flood water come to here. And then low quality water. I close here and open this side. And then the dry period, the poor quality water will continue to the ocean. Fish and other things still can move. <coughs> the second generation, they will have two different. Uh, this is the concept. For if you have the knowledge, know how to build the earth dam, for example. And then generally, you know this is the earth and the soil, and then you will have the impermeable layer inside the dam. Now, because cost reservoir, this water level and outside water level almost the same, so you can change this one to the to here, the soft dam, <coughs> and then to this impermeable curtains. Okay, now. We have the general idea about destination and then everything. Now we look at the Singapore's experience. Singapore's one, they look at the world from, they assume our world is flat. And then you think about the one will be different. Singapore's information at this one, <coughs> every year rainfall 2.5 meter, very high. And the nine area, Singapore dotted boundary line here. This is the Singapore. Above this nine, Malaysia. And then the nine area, about 700 kilometer square, very small. And then runoff, everybody knows how to estimate the runoff, right? Catchment area, rainfall, and then, we, and then the, you have the runoff coefficient, and then 0.5, something like that, and then you can calculate every year how much water you have on your surface, on your rivers. And then more important one, but Singapore, nobody went to talk about this one, and then this is Johor River. Huge one. This state called as Johor State because of this river. Every year, so much water flow to Singapore's territory. So now you look at the Singapore mass water planners, what they're, they're thinking. They say, we don't have bigger rivers. We don't have bigger lakes. So we are the, this one, water, most water scarce city, country. This is the conclusion. And then how to do? PUB very proud that we have four taps. And then drink the recycle toilet water. And also desalination. Desalination all concentrated in this area. But the Johor River in this corner. And then every time you go to Mor uh, Singapore uh, Changi Airport here. Now I ask you. Now you are totally different from the ordinary traditional water planner, I ask you to think about how to solve Singapore's water shortage problem. And then I believe your answer will be like this one. Singapore has sufficient fresh water or black water. <coughs> and then cost reservoir at the river mouth of the Singapore River and the Johor River should be constructed. No need for desalination water or new water. No need RO technology can be treated the water from the Cost, uh, the cost reservoirs. And then Pierce River, Beidou River should be moved to the sea and then to replace, to increase your land. This is your answer. So Singapore, this is the uh, Singapore River. Yes, they built the dam here. What is this one? First generation cost reservoir, right? You already know. <coughs> I asked you to do it, how to do it. Now every year they discharge a huge number of water to the ocean. And then this water amount is more than the desalination plant generated water. You can see. <coughs> and then if you increase this one, use second generation, and then you have another without it. And anyway, you because of time. In 2002, 2002 I published a book. I say I, and a, a, a paper and the book, and then I say Johor River from Malaysia, they don't have the passport. And then come to your, your territory, and then that's your, your people, your water. You can use it. Like water and air go to Singapore territory, you can use it. So I say if you do the nine reclamation like this one, reduce the seawater intrusion. And then another part, it 
This, this channel, you cannot touch it because that belongs to Mauritius. And then now, if you look at Google's Johor River mouse, similar to this one. And then I say here, sometimes you have fresh water, sometimes you have fresh water. And then your desalination plant should be constructed here near the Changi Airport. And then you should use to treat the fresh water or fresh water here. But unfortunately, Singapore didn't follow. I believe after you go up, and then you can influence Singapore people. <coughs> OK, now let's look at China's experience. China, how to solve that problem? They, they say we build large dams, Sirigoji Dam, I was the uh, designer, and then still can solve the problem. South to North Water Diversion Projects, also they have the cost of it, I assure you. <coughs> Chinese people always say, my water is only 7% of the water, water resources, but I have 20% population. And in terms of per capita water shortage, uh, what, water, <coughs> What availability, my water resources is similar to Yinan. How many water you have in Yinan, same. <clears throat> and then all, most of the people live in this eastern area, so this is why everywhere, almost especially in the north China, water street city area. This day. And then how to solve the problem? Beijing is here, 20 million people, more than. Tianjin is here, another 20 million people, city, big mega city. They don't have water. So this is the information. <coughs> and then the basic information, total population, 1.3 billion people like you have. And then nine areas so bigger. And then they don't have this, don't talk about this total none of the sea. And then the, the water planners thinking that this one, we don't have the, enough water. And then we, our water shortage is so huge. And then we already build uh, so much dams. And then how to do that? The solution is to divert the water from the Yangtze River here to Tianjin, the mega city. And then 150, uh, 1,500 kilometer, and another 1,500 kilometer artificial river from the Yangtze River to Beijing. And then to solve these problems, and then in the Himalaya to divert the water from the Yangtze River to here. Is the planet. So now I ask you, the young people, to think about it. how to solve China's problem, use our concept. And then you have to say to Chinese government, this is your assumption before you start any plan. And then you say this is the China's cement uh, to uh, India monsoon se season flood. And then this is not water resources, this is disasters. 40% can be used. And then this environment flow, you cannot touch if you cut or use it, and then the river will dry, and then you cannot use it, 23%. And then eventually, Chinese government says, I can only use this part of water, that is only 28% of the total water resources. This is the assumption. But now you can go and talk to Chinese government. If you have the cost reservoirs, all water resources can be used, can be developed, right? That totally different from the ordinary thinking. <coughs> so we say inland cities, the, <coughs> oh, sorry, all coastal uh, cities, water supply can be fully demand, uh, made, made, made is cost reservoirs. And then not only the coastal city, and then inland city can be indirectly solved also. So once the cost of cities water demand is met, is met and then inland city water supply can be increased also. South to north water diversion projects are unnecessary. So I have big argument with Chinese President Jiang Zemin and then in, in, in order to fight his north, south to north water diversion project, I published this book. And then in this book, I predict, published in 2004, Western road, unnecessary, you must consider. And now, you look at this one, consider. And then I say middle road, and then should be supplied to Tianjin, not Beijing. Now look at this one, this middle road, now have the, by, by the, the channel supplied to Tianjin. And then for eastern side, for eastern road, this one, 
I say you will spend a huge amount of money and nobody use it. Now nobody use it. So we can see huge cost. If you then look at this one to observe our world from the outer space and then you are thinking we make a huge mistake. Even the president like the gentleman. <coughs> but another good side is Shanghai. In 1996, Shanghai was classified by the UN, say one of the six mega cities with severe drinking water shortage problem induced by water quality problems. Shanghai here. And then here, a huge lake, typhoon lake, polluted. And the Yangtze River here. And then only the UN experts assumption is that here the river mouth and the water is salty, can be used. So they say you have no water to use it. The only water source is here and heavily polluted. So you have problems. You will, you will be like this one. And then once this one announced, some people are panic because they want to develop the economy. And then before me, they invited the experts of desalination and then what waste water recycle. And then they, this expert encouraged them to build the largest desalination for Shanghai. So you have money, you have demand, you have the seawater. Why not to build the largest desalination plant? And then luckily, Shanghai people didn't listen to them, say, wait. I have to wait for Professor Shu Qingyang and then have the new idea and then invite me to give the seminar. <laughs> Thank you. And then my solution for Shanghai is yeah, this one. This is Yangtze River, Shanghai here. And then I say you should build the intake here, pump. And then pump the water to this island and then distribute your, your, your water to the agricultural field nine for pretreatment to remove TN and T B nutrients. And then you should have the underground pipe to suck the pipe, the water infiltration. And then after you finish this one and then your clean water should be stored in this place. Your cost is what should be here. And then but if you look at here, water demand is here. And then some people in order to save the money construction costs. So why not to use the same concept and come to here? And then finally, 2008, they start to construct the cost reservoir here. Now finish already. Now some people drink the water from here. And then I predict at that time, your water quality maybe have problems because for cost reservoir, I always worry about the quality. Quantity is not the issue. Quality is number one, the, our worst enemy. And now the Shanghai people gradually realize that they should go back to my original design. You are waiting for next five years or 10 years, you will see the system will start to work. <coughs> and uh, this is Shanghai government gave me the award. And now we go to the... Show the award again. <laughs> yeah, this is Chen. Chen. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, Korea, Korea, North Korea. North Korea, this is the Pyongyang. And then the population is very high. And then North Korea, the earthquake area, you know. And then they don't have big dams, but they solve the problems by Jin Zichen. And then this is the, the, the cost is one. And now you can see also first generation, right? And then <coughs> the concave water body, and then flow, and the Banaji, 90 degree perpendicular to each other. <coughs> this is the, the, the one. And then they solve the problem. But now you can put it. If the economical even up very fast, and then agriculture, and then wasters from agriculture, industry, and then the water quality will be also a big problem. And then you can, I can put it. <coughs> now it's OK. And then South Korea tried to follow, because two countries are always fight to each other. If you have, I, am, I must have. It. And they quickly they follow the same concept and build the cost reservoir here. Unfortunately, the only in the purpose to provide water to solar now failed, failed. Why? Because water come to here, rainfall water come to here. Also, every single drop of the contaminant 
also come to here. And then eventually, the water quantity can be used for drinking, waste water reservoir now. So now, you, if I ask you to design this one, how to change this one back to the original design purpose? It will be very simple for you, right? I only need to build a bypass channel here. Water quality is no good, and then this water discharges to the ocean, bypass to the ocean. Same here, you have another channel, and then here. I like to encourage you guys, maybe you have the chance to design Gujana Cross Reservoir. Because it is concept the same, problem will be the same, solution will be the same. Try to, in, try to influence the top management for try to avoid the same mistake here. <coughs> Good enough. And then another one called as uh, Simon Gum. Simon Gum is one. And then original design plan, nine reclamation, water resource development. And then finally, they have to give up for the water supply. Why? Because, because this one, stop social impact. This means our first generation cost reservoir have the high social impact if you cannot manage it very well. And then you have to think about a second generation cost reservoir. If the salmon gun use the second generation cost reservoir and then you protect the environment, it should be no problem. Okay, Australia experience, sorry, uh, maybe. And then Australia basic information, 7.7 .7 million population, that's the area, and then blah, 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 all the information here. And then if you look at the Australia's uh, publications, always say we are the driest continent in the world. And then our water is our, our economical and everything are constrained by water crisis. This is the information. So <coughs> Australian government is quite open to all the solutions. If you have a good idea, tell the Australian government, and then tomorrow they will give the money, and then to test it. And then the solution, first one, inland dams, to build more dams. And then another group of people say, build the wastewater recycling plants, and then desalination plants. And then Australian government spend billion dollars, billion dollars for all this one, for experiment, to test this one. But unfortunately, all of them are not successful. Huge, very expensive experience you have to learn. First one, they want to build a dam. And then this dam construction, like they, just I said, <coughs> worldwide, same. Now we don't have that. For the capital cities, from the 1990 to, till today, 30 years, no anything new dams. And then every time government say, I want to build a dam. And then people stand up also. Like this. <coughs> and then, other groups say, wow, you cannot build a dam, and then how to do? And then we have the good technology, drink the wastewater. And then newspaper publish the result, very positive. 68%, 70% people say, yes, this one published. But the media, very, very bad. They didn't publish the whole story. The whole story is like this one. Is it OK for people to drink recycled sewage? The answer, yes, and he counted here, yes. And then they didn't say, did report this one. People, yes, me, no. <laughs> but uh, the, the lesson we should, we should, we should have, the, the, this newspaper's result missed our government. And then come, another 29% another of people speak loudly, say no. Why? They say, this is from the TV, and then they say, yes, we agree with the yak factor, yet unknown chemical with the K. A lot of people say no, but the government say, I have 70%, and then domestic, and then I have the photo. And then 2.5 billion dollars spent for waste quality project to treat waste water imprisonment as the drinking water in 2008. Finish. And then 2003. The government stand up and say, sorry. This is a tragic error of judgment misguided by the newspaper. And then the government have to step down. So now you guys, you tell the truth to the government, actually protect our government. Otherwise, they have to step down. Big mistake. 
As the desalination is no good, uh, as the, the wastewater drinking is no good, no successful, and then uh, Australian government are uh, influenced by another group of people say, wow, you can build the desalination plant. And now every capital city in, 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 in Australia yeah, has the capital desalination. And now you can see paid for without producing a single drop of water because this five, 10 years, the, the weather is good enough. And then you, you, you have to pay half a billion dollars per year for standby. And then the desalination plants life span 20 years. And then next 10 years, if the weather is still not good enough, and then billion, billion dollars has gone without producing a single drop of water. And then this is why the party members now realize that this one white elephant. And then also, when Australian people are very smart, in 1930s, they built the uh, first generation coastal reservoir for alternate water supply. This is the largest uh, river called as Marantan River in Australia. And then it is the river mouth, it is the lake here. And then have the channel to the ocean. And then the engineers in Australia simply think first generation coastal reservoir will be the solution. So they build a barrage here, 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 and then they expect this one to be a freshwater lake. But unfortunately, recently in the dry period, the salinity very, very high, similar to seawater. So can't provide water to alternate. So now we have to think about it. second generation, we can solve this problem. I only thought Australian government, you are only in a design, no good, and then <clears throat> no problem. We can work with you to design as a second generation coastal reservoirs. So we say the second generation reservoirs, I showed this example for Newcastle. And then this is the Hunter River, originally Hunter River come to here, this is a port for cod export. And then I say, very simple, you have the Banaji here, build the coastal reservoir here, and then have the bypass, uh, the, the, this is a channel, and then you have gate here, flood season, good quality water, you open the gate, and then by gravity, the water comes to here, to this place, for treatment, pre-treatment, with them pre-treatment. After you treat the water, and then the good quality water can be stored in the ocean. And then how to design this one, we will discuss tomorrow and uh, Friday. <coughs> and then this means our second generation one, ha we can select the good quality water for storage. And if it's still not good enough, we have to use wetland pre-treatment. This is why in uh, Monday, I pro promised to uh, chief engineer and then I say, when we design your cost reservoir, we will make sure you have enough water. You just tell us how much water you want. At the same time, the second promise is that water quality should be similar to this one. Very good, sorry. <coughs> this is why we have, we are confident our quality will be similar to the water water quality. <coughs> and definitely we will know that's cost effective and the environment is sustainable solution I, I don't want to talk about. And then this is a, I compare different solutions, just uh, uh, Professor um, Susan I already have done this one, I don't want to repeat. So my conclusion is that Singapore's experience, what? Fresh water and fresh water are also water resources are waiting for us to develop. <coughs> and the China's experience shows us interbasing water diversion should be very, very careful. And then all water measures, when you use it, when you try to apply it, you have to think about cost reservoir first, and then if cost reservoir can solve the problem, and then you can think about this one. <coughs> and also for Shanghai Wang, the wetland pretreatment should be should be should be good lesson for us. <coughs> and then Korea experience shows the first generation cost reservoir may have public opposition, <coughs> and maybe a wastewater reservoir. Australian Wang shows. The uh, first generation, desalination wastewater recycle are not the solution to Australia. <coughs> Second generation, we say it's cost effective, environment friendly, social acceptable, and uh, has uh, high quality water. This is one of very important. Okay, thank you very much.
Okay, yeah. If there are one or two quick questions, anyway, we have kept about one hour at the end of all the presentations we have. A, a email. After this one, you still can think about it and then give me email if your, your, your question is something like that. Yeah. <coughs>